Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an app in Power BI service. A point to remember, you can only create one app for each workspace. So as you can see on my screen, I'm in my project workspace. And here you can see this create app option. If I click on this create app option, it's taking me to this page where I can see there are three options, setup, content and audience. And currently I'm in setup option. So you can give your app name. So currently it's my project and which is fine. In the description, I can say, this app contains all my projects. In the app logo, you can upload an image. You can choose a theme color for your app. Let me choose this one. And from here, you can choose the owner of the app. So it will show the app publisher who has published the app. Let's go to the advanced settings. And here in the navigation pane, we can choose from two options. Let's keep this expand navigation by default because when we open the app, a navigation pane will always be there. Uh, we don't want to give access to hidden content. So let's uh, keep it off. And in the global app settings here, we can uh, click on this install this app automatically so that this app once created will automatically show in this app section. And if you enable the second option, it will enable the users to copy the reports from the app. So do it accordingly. In the support side, we can uh, give a documentation link or any other link. For example, I can also give my channel link. I can give this link and we can move to the next add content section. So in the add content, uh, let's click on add content and choose the reports that we want to show in the app. Let's choose businesses, space mission, and superstore analysis dashboard, and click on add. Here, uh, we can also add a new section. So let's say, for example, marketing reports, and also add one more section named uh, sales reports. So now, for example, I can add businesses to marketing reports, and uh, space mission to sales, superstore analysis to sales. So we can add the sections of the report like this and uh, we can move to the next add audience section. In the add audience, we can add multiple audiences who can view the report. For each audience, you can hide or unhide a particular section. And for that section, you can edit the audiences as well. So here in the specific user or groups, you can add the user's email ID whom you want to give access to for each audience. So in the audience section, we can add multiple audiences so for for example for marketing people we can add marketing people in the right side you can see specific users or groups we can add marketing people uh, email ideas to this and give access to marketing reports only and again we can add new audience for sales audience and in the sales audience we can give access to the sales people email id here so once we uh, do that we can click on publish app and it's saying it will take around five to ten minutes we can copy this link or we can also go to app so if you go to app, it will show something like this. So the app is published. So in the sales report, it's showing Superstore Analysis Dashboard. And we can go to any page, for example, product analysis, customer analysis, and different pages. And uh, we can also go to different reports, Space Mission Dashboard. And we can go to Marketing Reports, where it is Business Sales Dashboard. So we have these three reports. So creating app is the best way to share the reports to multiple audiences. So now if I want to edit the app or I want to add a new audience. In that case, uh, I can click on update app and go to audience tab and add new audiences and again, update the app. In case I want to delete the app, we can come to the home page of the workspace and then we can click on this three dots more icon. And from here, we can unpublish app. So this was all about creating, updating and sharing the app with Pobia users. So I hope you found this video useful. If you find my videos helpful, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.